In this video, I'm going to give you a quick introductory tutorial to how to do Spotify advertising. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the Spotify ad manager. What I'm going to do is in the upper right here, I'm going to hit create campaign. And then we're going to select what we're advertising, which in most cases is going to be a brand product or organization as opposed to an artist's music on Spotify or a concert. We're going to hit next. You have to name the campaign. I'm just going to call it test campaign. Next, we're going to name the ad set. So I'm just going to say test ad set. There are two formats that we can choose from. The first is music. The second is podcast. If we select music, we have more variety of the types of ads that we can run. So we can run an audio ad, a horizontal video, or a vertical video. In the podcast option, we only have audio as an option. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with music because there's more variety here. We're going to select vertical video, which is kind of the standard thing that you would do in some social media ads. We're going to select the audience as the United States. So you'll notice it already had United States typed out there, but it wasn't actually selected. So we're going to be forced to select it as an option. I'm going to target the entire country. I'm going to select the language as English. If the ad's in English, I want to make sure people can understand it. Uh, you can select age restrictions here. I, I think it might be meaningful to cut out teenagers, potentially cut out uh, this age group as well, even though I generally prefer going broad. Uh, in a lot of cases, teenagers are just not going to be appropriate audience for what you're selling. All genders is going to be the case in most situations. Now, we'll get back to interest in a second because that's going to be the most important part. Now, as for budget, if I try to put in something like $10 here, it's going to rebuttal. And what it's going to tell me is that the minimum is $250 for music ads. Keep in mind that when you do do podcast ads, the minimum is $500. So they're really setting a floor here in terms of uh, or in terms of what you can spend on like other channels which is a bit annoying but uh, if you want to expand into spotify that's just the game you need to play now as for the schedule i would probably want to go with some sort of long-term end date so let's go with say february and what it's going to do is it's going to spread this budget evenly over that time which is best practice generally with marketing you should be allocating your budget evenly over the entire year and perhaps adjusting it slightly based on seasonality. If your product's super seasonal, then uh, you're going to be more aggressive in, in terms of peaking spend at certain time periods. But for most of us, spread it evenly throughout the year, and that, that will be best practice. For bidding, uh, you generally want to go with reach. So particularly if you're going for long-term growth, you essentially want to hit people once and hit as many people as possible. And that's how you have maximum impact. Now, frequency capping here. The frequency tends to get very high with radio ads, and you want to avoid that when it comes to podcasts. So what we're going to do is try to shrink the frequency as much as possible. I'm going to go with one per month here. And now what we're going to do is get into the detailed targeting, which is perhaps the most interesting part about doing Spotify ads. So let's take a look at what those options are, interests and behaviors. So we have four different sections here. So interest targeting, real-time context, genres, or no additional targeting. Now, genres is not something I'd typically do unless you're marketing a music-specific product. And no additional targeting is also something that I wouldn't generally use unless it's a very, very mass market product like Coca-Cola or something. So the ones that are going to be most useful here are going to be interest and real-time context. Now, I want to start with real-time context because this is really interesting uh, in terms of your targeting options. So you can actually target people in specific moments when they're listening to topics related to gaming, to parties, to travel, to study, to holidays, to cooking, to work out, etc. So this is very useful and this is something that you may not get when you're advertising on other channels is you can say I want people to associate my brand or my product with this specific activity. So for, for example, when they're cooking, I want them to think about this steel cooking appliance that I'm selling. So there is a case where it's not just bidding on impressions, but you're bidding on important impressions that are going to help build context specific memory. So targeting people when they're interested in cooking would be very useful. Now the interest targeting is going to be a bit more standard. 
and we can see that we can target people based on a whole variety of different things. So are they interested in business, commuting, education, gaming, love and dating, parenting, science and medicine, partying, health and fitness, health and lifestyle, cooking, comedy, etc. So in a lot of cases, I might be interested in people that are uh, business people. Now, because we're spreading the money evenly over time, we need to be conscious of whether we're going to keep adjusting the budget over time. So for example, after a month, are we gonna do another 250? Or uh, are we actually gonna front load um, and set how much we wanna spend for the entire year, in which case you're gonna to wanna to expand this even further. And the other factor related to budgeting is determining how much you wanna bid per impression, the maximum amount that you're willing to bid. So. Uh, if you try to put in something like $5 here, uh, it might be considered a little bit low from a Spotify perspective, even though it wouldn't be with Facebook. So just for a quick demonstration, let's put in $20. And then we're going to get some estimates on the right here. So we can see, for example, the number of estimated impressions is about eight to 15,000. The reach is 8,000 to 15,000 people and the frequency is one to two. Now let's hit next. I'm going to call this add name test. Now, when it comes to the video, Spotify is very strict. So you cannot upload a video without sound. You are going to have to upload a video that's about 30 seconds. If you upload something that's 40 seconds, it's going to get rejected. So let's just see what happens here when I try to use a video that I've used elsewhere, uh, a vertical one right here. So you can see your video is 46 seconds. Please upload a, a video equal two or under 30 seconds. So it's going to reject that. It's also going to reject short videos that have no audio. Now we can upload a an image file. Um, so I can just try using this one. But again, it's going to reject it because Spotify is very strict in terms of what it accepts. So it's going to be the kind of image that you would run with uh, other types of ads like on Snapchat and it'll appear here as a vertical. You can choose what call to action you want to go with. Generally, I'd go with something like learn more. So in cases where you're optimizing for reach and not optimizing for something like click through, uh, you want something that people are not going to hesitate to click. So uh, learn more would be great here. You can put in some sort of landing page. So decker.page slash P. You can put in um, some tracking information if you want and then hit next. So I just demonstrated how to create an ad uh, using the music format. We used vertical video as an example, but you could have done a more standard horizontal video. You also could have gone with an audio file. So let's run, run through another example to see what happens when we select podcasts as the ad placements. So we can choose which platforms to go with. So for example, here we're actually able to advertise on desktop, even though we weren't able to in the other example. So let's go with all. We can select our industry here. So let's just say business to business. You can get more detailed if you want. We can uh, set some audience details. So here we have ages 25 to 65. I think that's fine. Targeting the entire country is fine. Now let's see what happens if I put in $400 here. You're gonna see that the minimum budget needs to be $500. So I would prefer going with the minimum. Set the schedule to whatever you want. We could set the end date as March 31st. Frequency cap, we're gonna keep the frequency cap uh, as low as possible to essentially maximize reach. And then we can hit next. We have a couple of options here for the audio. We can let Spotify create the audio for us. We can provide a brief here so that they generate it. Or we can use a previously approved audio ad that was created on Spotify. And you would upload that file here or you would choose from your library here. We can upload an image. Let's see what happens when we upload this image. So you can see here that the image requirement is 640 by 640. So you would go into Canva, you would hit create design, you would hit custom size and you would do 640 by 640. And you could take a design that you created perhaps for another social media platform or somewhere and, and import it into there and then upload here as an image. You can decide what tagline you want to go with. Change the call to action if you wish and set the landing page and hit next. 
So there you have it, quick introduction to the two major types of Spotify ads and the different types of placements and formats that you can run.